Ravens running back Ray Rice was cut from the team today after video surfaced of him knocking out his then fiance unconscious and then dragging her body out of an elevator. Prior to the team seeing this video, Rice was only suspended for two games and he was fined. Now, Kit Daniels writes that because the running back used his bare hands instead of a gun to attack, the NFL can't use Ray Rice to promote gun control. The NFL has consistently pushed their gun control agenda. You'll recall after Kansas City linebacker Jovan Belcher shot and killed his girlfriend before killing himself in 2012, an NBC sportscaster blamed America's gun culture for the killings during the Sunday night football halftime show on the following day. The NFL also has banned off-duty cops from carrying their guns inside stadiums. And late last year, the NFL rejected a pro-gun Super Bowl advertisement by Daniel Defense, which depicted a Marine arriving to greet his family with a voiceover that stated, no one has the right to tell me how to defend them. So of course, this is a perfect example of targeted censorship because it doesn't fit the agenda. Now, obviously this video was powerful enough to take Ray Rice down. Audio recordings of Donald Sterling for forced him to be banned for life from the NBA as well as it forced him to sell his team. People do not want to be caught on video with in an incriminating fashion. And that's why we're seeing cops so aggressively targeting people who attempt to film them with their cell phones or even iPads. Here we have an Oregon man who was arrested for filming a militarized police raid in his neighborhood um, that the cops accused him of interfering with their operation by recording the incident on an iPad from across the street. The cops told him, you go inside right now. It's a lawful order. Go inside right now before they begin swiping at his iPad. Now, despite the fact that legal precedent and law clearly dictates that it is not illegal to film the police, nor does recording the police constitute interfering in their activity, Americans continue to be arrested for doing so. And frankly, who cares? Even when they are caught on video, they're not even being charged. They're not even being fired for this. I mean, just take the instance of Kelly Thomas, who was beaten for nearly 20 minutes while he was screaming for his daddy, and a jury found those police officers to be not guilty. Or we have these six NYPD officers who took turns beating and kicking 23-year-old Santiago Hernandez after he asked why was he being searched through their controversial stop and frisk policy you can see the video, it's up on Mediaite, uh, but he's basically just standing there and the cops demand to frisk him. He complies, they find nothing. And so when he asks, why are they, why are they frisking him? They handcuff him, push him to the ground, and he is pummeled by six police officers. He said they were taking turns like a gang. Now later he was charged with disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. But the Bronx DA declined to prosecute the case and NYPD Internal Affairs. They're investigating the incident. They are investigating themselves. And so we have people that getting really angry at the residents of Ferguson saying, why not just take the time, allow the system to work for you? This is how the system works. This is why those people were so angry. Cops will bully and beat their way around and then get away with it, even if there is damning evidence. Now, at least this video will perhaps help this man to win in a civil trial. But of course, who's going to pay for that? The taxpayers. And the police will probably get a paid vacation. Now, that's not all. Because cops mostly act with impunity, now they're bragging about their aggressive tactics, which include taking hundreds of millions of dollars from drivers who aren't even charged with any crimes. And this is in a little known technique called highway interdiction. Now the Washington Post reports that this aggressive policing has been encouraged since the government called on police to become the eyes and ears of Homeland Security on America's highways after the terror attacks on September 11, 2001. You see, they hate us for our freedoms, so the government has been working aggressively to take those freedoms away. That's why we see all these police departments being armed with military surplus vehicles. Now, they're using uh, the Black Asphalt Electronic Networking and Notification System. It enables police nationwide to share detailed reports about American motorists, criminals, 
and the innocent alike. A private intelligence network known as Black Asphalt Electronic Networking and Notification System enables police nationwide to share detailed reports about American motorists. These would be criminals and the innocent alike. This includes social security numbers, addresses, and identifying tattoos, as well as hunches about which drivers to stop. Now, many of these reports will be funneled to federal agencies and fusion centers, and this is all despite repeated warnings from state and federal authorities that the information could violate privacy and constitutional protections. And one of the primary ways that police departments are able to seize money and share in the proceeds is through a long-standing Justice Department civil asset forfeiture program known as equitable sharing. And this is an, a law enforcement tool that allows the government to take cash and property without pressing criminal charges, and it then requires that the owners prove that their possessions were legally acquired. Now, of course, many people don't have the money to take this to court to prove that their money was legally acquired, and they're basically counting on that. And when they're at these stops, officers are taught not to tell the, the driver that they have a right at any time to leave after a traffic stop is concluded. Prolonging the stop in order to bring in the dogs is actually detaining someone without probable cause. And now we learn that cops are actively being trained to use psychological pressure at stops to get people to give up their rights as well as their property. Now, you've got to know your rights because cops are actively working to trick you out of them. And one of the ways that you can go about doing this, start by watching the video. It's up on InfoWars in our multimedia section, Secrets Police Don't Want You to Know. And this features former deputy sheriff and rule of law radio host, Eddie Craig. And he's talking about your rights when it comes to being stopped by police. So that is a very good place to start. Well, thank you for tuning in to the show tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, please consider becoming a member of Prison Planet TV. We're able to bring you all the content that you need to fight the info war. And of course, your support helps to fund this operation. Thanks for watching the show tonight. We'll see you here again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.